Well, here's the thing. So all that created kind stuff that we already talked about mm -hmm. with the horses and the cats and the meerkats and how they're different, Archaeopteryx. I can do the same sorts of things with humans. And this is where it gets really cool because I can show again and again and again with multiple studies that I can find a discontinuity between humans and non-humans. So this thing lands on the human side. This Neanderthal here, it's one of us. This thing is not. It is different. And I can tell you that it's different. I can diagnose it. I can do the statistics and I can show you with a great deal of certainty, this is not human. Now, if evolution were true, you might think there wouldn't be any way to do that, that there should be a gradual mm -hmm. continuum from ape to human. And so there wouldn't be any place to draw that line. But even after all of these discoveries, that's what makes it so cool. Even after Australopithecus africanus and all these other things that we have from the fossil record, I can still easily draw a line between things that are human and things that are not.